mercy. We, we're on a fast this week. We have a group. We're praying at 530 in the morning. And God came in and met us on the call again today. Welcome Periscope. Welcome Facebook. Welcome Instagram. I'm coming to get my stuff. I am living in the overflow. I am coming to get my stuff. Are you coming or are you going to get your stuff? Welcome to the overflow season. Hallelujah. God is so worthy. We are blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come in and when we go out. Oh God, we magnify you today. We lift up your holy name. You alone deserve all glory. He is Lord of Lord and Kings of Kings. Woo! I have been up since before five this morning just asking God and seeking him before we even went into prayer today. And I was like, God, you haven't even given me a message. I don't have a scripture to come from. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to panic. I'm going to let you be God. And let me tell you something. I went on the line to this morning at 5.30 and just said, you know, God just told me to flow. He didn't give me a scripture to come from. He said, just flow. So we begin to just exalt the name of the Lord and exalt our Heavenly Father. We went into worship. We went into prayer and praise. And let me tell you something. God came in and gave us an encounter. Oh, my gosh. And I know before we left this morning... Give me a word that says God's gonna God's gonna have an account. We're gonna have an encounter experience with Him today. Okay, and we're gonna be at that point where God is just gonna overflow. We're looking for our money to overflow. But God wants us to overflow in our spirits first. We need to be able to overflow with his love, overflow with his power, overflow with his anointing. It's those things that are breaking yokes. It's those things that are breaking chains. It was a breaker's anointing on the line this morning. And it is one that is coming to you today. If you want it, all you got to do is reach up and grab it oh yeah no matter where you are god had the word <clears throat> excuse me for me to release this morning before we left it said we're going to be saying excuse me I, I i need a moment oh good god almighty excuse me uh i'll be right back <laughs> Uh, excuse me, but I got to go because God is going to come in and we're going to have those spontaneous encounters today. Now, this is not for everyone, but it is for those who want to pull in to experience what God is doing in this week. He is moving mountains in this week. He has given us strengths to climb up other mountains so that we can have a mountaintop experience. We are living in the overflow. I I am going to get my stuff. Are you going to get your stuff? I'm not coming from a scripture today. The word is all in me. So I am just going to flow as the Lord gives me utterance. Father, we thank Thank you for sending this season of overflow in our lives. We thank you for fighting for us, for the battle is not ours, but it is yours, Lord. We thank you for sending your angels to go out before us, oh God. And even when the enemy tries to come in, you're going to raise a standard for us. You're going to allow the enemies to smite. You're going to allow the angels to smite them. They will come in one way and flee another. Father, we thank you for this moment in time. We thank you for living in the now of this season. Father, you are worthy. Lord, have your way today in this broadcast. Speak whatever you want to speak. You know what we all stand in need of. All we know is Thank you for this moment. God, we thank you for the pains that come, for we know it's an indication that we're about to give birth. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Thank you, God, for allowing the trials of life to come because we understand that we're growing through this to get to our next, to get to the place in which you are already calling us and predestining us to go. In the name of Jesus. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. Good morning, Gwen. Good morning, Latoya. Y'all were on that call. Come on, my people. Yes, that seven-day breakthrough movement. Come on. Jenny, Jenny, good morning. Good morning, Latoya.
Let's try and say that. Tasha, good morning. Good morning, Kay Walla. How are you doing, gorgeous? Good morning, Valicia Lachelle. How are you doing, beautiful? Doris, oh my God. Lord, let me tell you, God is going to break some chains. He is already shaking and stirring some things. Good morning, oh Hopkins. I'm trying to get up there. I when it was time to end the call, I felt myself saying, ladies, I gotta end this call. Excuse me, but I gotta go. <laughs> because I felt the anointing, I felt the encounter, I felt that God was doing something in me. It's just like fire shut up in my bones. I could not just come to a place to I just wanted to run around. And it was starting yesterday. It just feels like I want to burst wide open. And God began to let me know that we are giving birth. This week is so profound and so strategic and what he's doing. Doing, and I, for one, am not going to miss it. I don't want to miss it, but I have a choice. I'm not going to miss it. Are you going to miss it? No, you want what God wants you to have. It's time for us to walk into our overflow season. Good morning, Stephanie. How are you doing? I appreciate all of you for tuning in today. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You just don't know when I tell Oh, you. I was reading in different scriptures yesterday, last night, as I was just seeking God on what, what to say and what to give out. And I was just reading different scriptures. And it was one that was just standing out to me about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Even when you come to that place where you're doing what God has called you to do, and others are looking around you saying, no, you need to do it according to the way that we have set it in place. But there is something on the inside that will not allow me to stop doing what God has called me to do. I cannot help but to be who God has called me to be. Be who God has called you to be. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my God, I come against this, this assignment of the enemy now in the name of Jesus trying to stop my voice. The devil is a liar. We're going to continue to praise and push through. I know that no weapon that is formed against me, no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. Father, we thank you now, God, for this is our season of now and necessary. We are walking in our overflow. Father, we give you glory and honor today. <clears throat> Father, we honor you today. Oh my God, as I was saying, when the enemy tries to shut us up and tries to make us not do what God has created us to do, there is just something on the inside that will not not allow us to shut down or stop or halt. The enemy may try to do what he wants to do, but in the word, when it comes through Daniel, and it was saying about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, how King Nebuchadnezzar got a word from someone, oh my God, that he felt was a trusted source, but in all actuality, they were moving in jealousy. They were moving in enviousness. They were moving, plotting, and planning against what God was doing through Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they began, and that, that servant began to go to King Nebuchadnezzar and let him know, oh, didn't you form a decree that we're supposed to lay before, <clears throat> reach out and pray three times a day? Well, they're not praying. Oh, Lord, have mercy. They're not praying to that God. And no, I'm not going to pray to no other God but the God I know. There is something about the name of Jesus. There is something the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. He is God. He is a keeper. He is a lifter of our heads. He is the joy of our souls. He is the center of our joy. All we have to do is call on Jesus. Oh my God. And things start shaking. Oh Lord have mercy. God chains. God is breaking chains. So even if it feels in that particular story that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown into the fiery furnace. Oh my God. Oh Lord have mercy. Oh my God. And as they were thrown into the fiery furnace, you would think because they turned it up hotter. Oh God, that's what the enemy is trying to do. He's turning the blazes up higher and hotter, hoping that it's going to stop us. It's going to 
kill us. It's going to make us abort our mission or abort our dreams. But I don't know about you. When I of Jesus and all he has done for me. I can't help but to allow my soul to exalt the Lord. I can't help but to allow my feet to start moving, my mouth to start going, my hands to start raising, thanking the Lord for saving me. Oh my God. And when they begin to throw them in, even the, the jailers that were throwing them in, they were their clothes begin to cinch and they burnt to a crisp right on the spot. But Shadrach, Misha, and then they go walked inside of the fiery furnace. They closed the door and King Nebuchadnezzar, all he could do is say, I thought we put in three. He says, behold, there's four people, four, there's four in this furnace because I am walking. God is walking with me as I am walking. He's talking with me as I am talking. Oh Lord, have mercy. And greater is he that lives in you than he that lives in the world. We cannot allow the enemy to shut us up. We are in the overflow and truth be told, he wants to stop us from going to the other side. But God already sent the word that said we're going to the other side this week. This is your moment. This is your hour of your breakthrough. He's breaking chains off your mind. He's breaking chains off your life. He's breaking chains off your finances where the enemy me thought your oppressor was going to keep you down the shaking rattling rolling that God has been doing that God has allowed to happen is making is making the doors to come open is making locks to be broken making chains to fall off the shackles are coming off your feet the shackles are coming off your mind it's time for momentum God is giving you momentum this week if you can believe it and you can tap into it God is giving us momentum, oh my God, to get to the other side. But he is just so good. He is a good, good father. So as he's given us momentum, he's speaking the word, letting us know where we're going. He's giving us direction. Oh my God, like I said, this is not for everyone, but those who want it. He says, all you got to do is reach up and grab it. All you got to do is call upon me. Oh my gosh, no matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, just give it to him today. Just release it to him today. Walk in your overflow because it is our overflow season. February 29th is right around the corner and God is performing miracle signs and wonders. But it's something about the number three. Oh Lord, have mercy. It's something about the unity. It's something about the trinity. It's something about coming in agreement. It's something about the one, two, three that begins to change things. And I thank God for what he's going to be releasing. Because even when March 1st comes in, whoo, God is preparing us for that. He is preparing us. The encounters on today, God is preparing our hearts. He's preparing our minds for where he is about to take us. Eyes haven't seen. Ears haven't heard. We're walking in our overflow. God will continue to bless you in such a way that your haters have to be able to say, oh my God, there must be something really different about you because you just keep getting blessed. Who is this God that you serve? Just like King Nebuchadnezzar had to look in and see the fourth, huh? like, the, like the son of man, like the fourth. He had to see the fourth in the, in the fire. They were not burned. They didn't come out smelling like smoke. There was not a singe on their clothes. Oh, God. And the word begins to tell us, even in Daniel, where it talks about all of the clothes that they had on, like everything, the turbans and all that they had on to go in the fiery furnace that was turned up, turned up. So even if the enemy has been turning up the heat, God will fortify you. God will protect you. He will keep our minds in perfect peace as we keep our minds on heat. Him. He will keep our feet walking in the correct direction as we stay in alignment with him. Just don't miss your God is doing in this hour, in this time, because this is our overflow season. And all I could hear in the spirit this morning when we were coming into the place to conclude the call was overflow, overflow, overflow. He says, I am going to overflow you, overflow in your life. We're going to say, excuse me, I'll be right back. Have a bathroom break, have a praise break, go to your car, a lunch break, praise on your car, worship, whatever form 
perform. You know that you give to God. Worship, singing, dancing, whatever it is. Worship it, praise it, lift it up, call on God to him today in that moment because we're going to get our stuff. Sunday, he said, set it off. The message was set it off. God was setting the stage and he was setting it off. He is showing off. Do you hear me? He is showing off on his people. Oh Lord, have mercy. He is showing off on us. Just like we had to go through. Sometimes we have to go through public display. You know, when we're going through our trials, we're going through the things that we don't quite understand. And it seems like it's done where everyone can see it, right? It's not done in the privacy of just your own home. It seems like your business is put on display. And just like that happened, God, I began to ask God when those things were happening to me, like on display, Lord, why this just couldn't be done? Why everybody got to see what is going on in my life? Why does everybody, you know, and then God began to let me know, oh my gosh, it's because trust and believe. If I allowed it to be on public display of what you're going through. I'm getting the glory. He said, I'm getting the glory. But he also let me know you've got to also understand that if they saw you fall, if they saw you go through, they're also so going to see you rise. They're also going to see when I bring you from the back to the front. God is bringing you from the back to the front. You will rise. You will rise. This is just a temporary situation. You are walking into your overflow. I know it may not seem like it now, but God wants us to understand. Praise him in advance for what he is about to do. He is about to just rain on us. He is about to overflow and overfill our cups. All we need to do is thank him in the midst. I thank you for what's not already tangible in my eyesight. I feel a stirring in my spirit that I just cannot shake. And when this happened to me before, God literally transformed my life in such a way I couldn't even remember who that woman was before. <laughs> Lord have mercy. That's what he is doing on this week. If you will allow him, he's going to transform your life just like he's transforming your mind, getting your mind ready for your overflow. Oh, Jesus. Getting our hearts ready for our overflow. Oh, Lord. Getting us ready for our overflow. Our bodies ready for the overflow. Oh, Lord, go ahead and just look at where you are right now. Take a picture if you must, because your life is about to change. The life that you've been used to, as you know it, is about to change. Oh, God, because when God gets through making us, Lord, have mercy. Like he has to break us. Oh, God, we have to go through those seasons of unexplained situations and challenges, things that just don't make sense. God has a plan for it. Oh, my God. And when we come out of the process, I remember when I uh, had the, the group on Saturday and we were in our course online and we were talking about the power of sight seeing things, how we see ourselves, who we are, breaking down the purpose. Oh my gosh. And God began to just give me an analogy to share with them. And he says, no one, no butterfly goes back to be a caterpillar. <laughs> oh gee, do you ever see a butterfly reverting back to become a caterpillar? He's a caterpillar. It's a caterpillar first. And then it moves into a cocoon when it's Season is ready. Oh Lord, when the season is ready, what wasn't eaten up? Oh my God, by the birds or the animals? What wasn't stepped on by the peoples? You have to understand the caterpillar has to go through so much just to get to climb up the tree or climb to the limb. Oh Jesus, it has to go through so much missing diversions, missing situations. How we look at them, we're looking down on them. Oh, Jesus, you know how those people had their nose up at you because they don't feel that you are where they are in their status quo or that you know they don't feel that you have what they have. Oh, you know how people just look down on you because you're in a situation. You may be a caterpillar for a moment, but trust and believe if you can just make it to the to the to the tree to climb up 
so that you can go through your metamorphosis stage. God's going to wrap you up in that cocoon. And some of us, he's already wrapped us up in that cocoon. And he's making us, transform, transforming us over. Oh God, while we're in the cocoon, it doesn't feel good. Lord Jesus, you just want to burst out because what starts to happen, even as I'm, I'm feeling and seeing in a vision in my spirit, it, it's like if you can just think on it for a moment, if you were just wrapped up in a cocoon and it was you who was a caterpillar that was instantly changed and went up the tree and you just knew if I just spread my wings, I can fly away. Oh my God, I can just fly away. Some of us are going through stuff. We just want a situation. We just want to get out of this situation. But what starts to happen is as you get in that place because you're being ordered by God, you're being ushered by the spirit. You don't understand what's happening. There is a a place in a certain flow that God has his people to be in so that they can become who he has called us to be. So when we can just think for a moment, we're the caterpillar missing. We have to miss people who are stepping on us. We have to miss the lawnmowers. Come on, be real. We have to miss all of these distractions and these diversions and how the enemy wants to suck us up and kill us. How the birds fly down because they see us as food. We understand we have praise out there. People who prey on our weakness. Good God Almighty. People who prey on our strength. Everybody's not looking at you being good intentions for you. We understand they want to be able to use and abuse for their own benefit. Let's keep that 100. But I thank God for protecting us. I thank God for sheltering us in from shifting us in from the enemy. Even if he does a little something, God still has it in control. He is fighting the battles for us. So even with the caterpillar, you have to understand for it to be able to get up the tree, to get on the limb, to be, be wrapped in a cocoon. God has to be with it all the way because of all the obstacles, all of the things that could be coming its way to kill it, to destroy it. Oh, God, to dismember it. You know how kids even see and they want to play with it, slice it up. Oh, Jesus. He had to protect it just like he's protecting us. He's protecting us as we're going through our journey. We know overflow is coming after this. We know I can feel that there is something on the inside that's ready to break forth. Oh Lord have mercy. It's almost like wings are getting ready to open up so I can fly. I just feel that thing so heavy in my spirit and all I can do is thank God in advance. Thank God in advance for where you are. Thank God for the trials. Thank God for the tribulations because he kept you in it. It was necessary that you went through what you went through. Don't even question it no more. Just thank God and ask him to cover your mind, ask him to cover your heart, cover your body to help you, give you wisdom so you go through the process and you come out on the other side changed. Whoa, Jesus. So as the caterpillar is climbing up the tree, he's still not out of danger. It's still not out of danger. Oh my gosh, you're not out of danger completely until God can wrap you up in a cocoon. And some of us are questioning where we are right now because we're like, people not calling on us. People not asking for us. I thought that I would be here and I would be there. Why am I not already going over here? I used to do this and I used to do that. God is hiding you for this season. Oh God, do you understand there are predators out there and he is covering you. He has hid you. But when it's time, when it's time, do you hear me? There is a time and a season for everything. But when it's time, the cocoon is going to start cracking open. And that's your indicator to let you know you're about to get out of those crap places. Woo! God, God's about to allow you to spread your wings and fly away. You got the mercy. Are you ready for takeoff? Lord, because we're walking into our overflow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Scratch that. He said we're flying into our overflow. Woo, Jesus. You mean to tell me as if I'm a caterpillar where I used to have to crawl into places, I can now 
skip that? I can fly above all my praise, all my predators. Oh yes, it's coming. Your tax bracket is changing. Money is not going to be strange. You're going to love to see the Benjamins rolling in. I thank God for the overflow. I thank God for healing your bodies, healing your minds. I thank God that he's ordering our steps and he's keeping us covered because he has plans for us. Oh no, it's not just about you getting the, the vibrant wings with the beauty and the uniqueness of it. Oh, no, no, no. See, what happens is where you, where it would take you so long to get to because you had to do it on all your legs to get there. You know how we were at the bottom and we felt like we had no strength to push. We felt like we had no strength to walk. We felt, we know we didn't have no strength to run. My God, and sometimes we just had to get on our knees and just barely crawl up, barely move our bodies because that's just how hard and how bad life has been for some of us where we have been in the pit all oh, the pit of life and all we could do was daydream daydream if I could only get out of this hole if I could only get out of this mess but God says I'm calling your name I'm sending for you I'm going to release you but I gotta take you from where you are oh no you're gonna bypass all of that and I'm going to allow you to fly away he's setting us higher he's setting us higher we're about to soar with e with wings like the eagle we're about to take off like a jet on a runway oh god we're moving into the overflow and we're not just going to walk into it we're going to run launch and fly into it and we're going to be able to soar because god's power and his anointing is breaking chains it's breaking chains and it's unlocking doors but until that god knows he had to hide us. He had to hide us in the cocoon. But I don't know about you, but I can see the break of a light in the cocoon that I've been in. Oh my God, and that's why I feel a little antsy because I can see I'm about to be transformed like never before. I can just feel this cramped space where I am. My eyesight, a little dark. It's been dark all around me because God God's been covering me. He's beating me and giving me what I needed. But I'm going to tell you, there's a breaking. There's a breaking in the cocoon. Oh, my God. And I'm about to break free. You're, you're about to take off. If this message is for you, it's not for everybody. But just know you're about to take off. Yep, you've been in cramped spaces. Yep, you had to fight to get to where you are. You don't understand why Robbie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike had to exit left. And you don't understand why Susie Q and all her gang had to exit right. But God. That's why he said break loose of people, places, and things that are holding you back. Because in this season, and in this season, he says, I am about to launch you. I'm about to take you further than where your mind has even been able to articulate. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And some of us, if he didn't do it, we will still be hanging out with Robbie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. We will still be hanging out with Shaniqua and, and Tawanja and all them people. I'm telling you, if God had not moved us out of those places, we will still be jacked up. But because our money is strange right now, but God's still paying the bills. He's still giving you what you need. He's still supplying food on your table. He's still giving you and your family clothes to wear. He still got you, even if it's barely enough. He is more than enough. Understand if he is allowing it to happen, there is a breaking that's coming. There is a breaking that's coming. He is transforming your life so that you can be able to be set free from bondage. The soul ties he has broken. The soul ties he has broken. The chains of bondage on your mind. The mentality that you had from your past, that's why you went through so much. Oh my God, God was feeding you and you were wrestling against what you knew as opposed to what you have no idea what God is speaking to you. He was preparing you for your next, not your now, your next. We want to walk in and say, okay, I'm prepared for now. No, 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 I'm prepared for next because your next is 
your next level is coming your wings are about to be able to be opened but the crack is in there and god has covered you he has covered your family you already know there's so many things really could have took you out but god's hand has been on your life for a reason it has been on your it has been on for a reason oh god but you're about to break free you're about to break free oh my god your body is going to be changing your mind is changing your money is changing some of your zip codes are changing because where god is taking us he's taking us to the overflow we're gonna run into this we're gonna leap into this we're gonna fly into this we're all on different levels but nonetheless if you know that this is for you i dare you to pull into it and believe what god is saying for you i don't know what god has been speaking to you you know i don't know how he's been trying to get your attention you know i don't know how you've been having a world war me situation i had a world war me anxiety attack seem like all of 2019 i couldn't understand what the heck was going on i was saying god i'm doing what you're asking me to do why is this happening to me oh my god and when he allowed me to come to myself because i stopped fighting against logic logic wants to understand the breakdown of the dynamics, the formula of why God is doing A, B, C, D, E, F at one time. Because <laughs> some of you know, you're not just going through one battle. You have multiple battles that you're fighting and you're dealing with at one time. God chose you. He's not going to put more on us than we can bear. And at the same time, we got to learn how somebody is just a mental thing it's not him it's not the enemy it's us our mentality the way we're processing the way we're thinking the way we can't stop focusing on what happened what went wrong how we keep saying the ifs of life honey ifs forget about an if all i know is god is taking it to the other side if you want it come on let's go if you don't i'll see you sometime later but excuse me praise break hallelujah i'm coming to get my stuff i'm coming to get all of it i ain't leaving a crumb on the table do you hear me i know what i had to go to get here and if it had not been for the lord on my side i am talking to you am i speaking your language if it had not been for the lord on your side where would you be oh my god the enemy will have you on display doing his tricks and his plots his schemes oh my god but I thank God that he protected us we may have been in the line of fire but we were bulletproof I'm gonna come back we may have been in the line of fire, but we're bulletproof. We have God on our side. We are bulletproof. So the enemy may think he's doing something. Yeah, do your thing. Do what you gotta. But I know I gotta get to the other side of this thing. I know. I don't know what God has exactly waiting for me. All I know is it's some good, good. And we're talking to that place. So I can't let Robbie, Bobby, Ricky, Mike, Susie, Shaquanda, and anybody stop, slow me down, or cause me to miss out, including me, myself, and I. Oh, Jesus. And this time, this week, I got to be a little selfish because I got to protect my anointing. I got to protect my mind. I got to protect my body. Come on, somebody. You got to protect what you know you work hard to get to. Oh, my God. You've been warring to get to this place. And now God says, here it is. Line up. Get ready. Woo, Jesus. I don't care. You didn't sign up for all the things that you went through. But God knew he could trust you. God knew you were strong enough to handle it. He understood that if you just called on the name of Jesus, he'd be there for you. He knew if you began to just open up your mouth confess 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 to him he got you he got you even when you mess up father i thank you for cleaning cleaning me my iniquities father forgive me for my sin wash me clean me wash me with hyssop wash me so that i may be water than snow he already knows all he needs us to do is make sure we're in position because this moment and this time this is strategically planted by god this week and we don't want to miss it. We're walking, running, 
forget walking. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for correcting me again. We're running, leaping, and flying into this overflow. Oh my God, somebody say next. <laughs> yeah, next. Job promotion, next. Mm -hmm. Change, next. New car, mm -hmm. next. New house. I mean, I'm just saying, God's going to reward you. He's already rewarding you spiritually, but he's also going to reward you. Your hard work, all of your laboring is not in vain. You have worked and God has been with you. Oh my God, he has hid you for such a time as this. And you are about to take off. You hear what I'm saying? You're about to come to the other side of this thing right here. Of all these challenges that you have been facing. You're about to come to the other Can't you just taste it? You know, it's like being in a desert. You're just, you know how you can be in a desert or in a heat. Never been in a desert. I can just imagine on the hottest day in summer, at the hottest time of that day, we know we can be parched and sweaty. And all we need is some water. Forget some soda. Forget some pop or some lemonade, some tea with some ice. I need water because the water is what's going to nourish me. God is the water. Lord, have mercy. And he says, out of you shall flow rivers of living water. See, that's what's happening. People are hungry. They are thirsty. And he's sending people that have, he is few, infusing with his anointing. He's sending people that he is infusing with his power. He's sending people that they can come before you as his vessels to pour out of themselves rivers of living water. So even on the hottest time of the summer in the day, and you just want water. It's like, just, I just need, we, I just need, you're going to do whatever you can to get to it. You can, even if you seem like you, you have a mirage, like, like, I, I think I see it. That's where I'm at. I, I know. I can't really see exactly what it is like that. In the cocoon, finally, there's a break. Good God, finally, I'm cramped up. I have been growing. I have been growing. God has transformed and broken my bones, broken my ego, broken my pride, broken my money. Good God, am I talking? Just taking me every which way I turn. Ah, la boshika, until I can even hardly recognize the formation. I did the because what he's about to do is take me to another place. He's taking you to another place. He and we've been cramped and just being patient and waiting. But I'm gonna tell you the patience. Oh my God, has its time. Oh Lord, have mercy. Have you been there when you at the point where you just like God? I need you you today. They already sent the eviction. They're going to put the lock on the door and my stuff is going to be locked up with this. God, where are you? Oh, Lord, have mercy. But in the nick of time, at God's timing, he shows up. Not only are they coming to let you know, yeah, you should have been evicted, but something happened. There was a glitch in our system, so you have nothing to worry about. Your bill is paid in full. Oh, no. And and you know what? And next month is on us. Come on. God is giving us increase. He's making it up. All the hell you've been through, you had to go through hell and literally fight hell demons to be where you are. Good God. And God protected you protected your mind when you thought because of the pressures of life, because of the breaking that God was doing, because of how you couldn't understand up from down, left from right, it seemed like confusion was your normal day activity. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh my God, even if you have been depressed, it's time to come out. It's time to break free. I decree and declare, if you are experiencing depression in the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of depression in the name of Jesus, and I cast it back to the pits of hell. I decree and declare, be loosed. Mind be loosed in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare, be set. In the name of Jesus, you're coming out. You're coming out. I've been there. i done that. I know what that feels like. And if it had not been for the Lord, this is a breaker's anointing. And if you want it, here it is. If you want it, reach out. I dare you to say thank you, Jesus. I dare you to say thank you, Jesus. He's changing. He's changing and rearranging you. Yes, Shekinah I come against the tormenting spirits that have been plaguing your mind this day in the name of Jesus. No, you're not what they said you are. You are who God has called you to be. Nonetheless, I come against every 
chain of bondage, every oppressor and suppressor, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare you have no more power or authority over God's people. Loose them and let them go free in the name of Jesus. Jesus, be set free. Be set free. Oh, God. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. The plagues are over. The plagues are over. Oh, God, the breaking just rested it. You see the crack? That's an indicator you're about to get out of that. All we can think now is, what I'm going to do when I get free? Lord have mercy. Have you ever just thought that? When my money get right, what am I going to do? Lord have mercy. When I can drive again, I can ride again, I can do it. What am I going to do? All we can do is daydream at this point. But even in that, God says, I'm going to supersede that. The reason for the, reason for the shaking. And he's done what he needed to do because we had to to how to stand still. Oh, oh God. Sometimes God will perform open heart surgery on you with anesthesia. Good God, without the drugs that you need. Oh God, because he understands there's need for you in the kingdom. Oh Lord, there's need for you in this world. Your gifts were given to you by God for for anointing that is resting, waiting to be placed on you, is there for a reason. We just have to be in position and be in alignment with what God is doing. You're coming out. You're coming out. You're coming out. You're coming through. You're coming through. You're coming through. This is your moment. This is your moment. And this is your moment. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose. Be free and walk in peace. Walk in love. Walk in power. My brother, my sister, walk in power of the anointing of God. Walk in power of your freedom and don't allow anyone to you to revert back because butterflies can't turn back into caterpillars. Oh my gosh. Either they die before their time or they die when it's time. Oh my God. By the way, I got to have my wings and I can't die before my time. Oh, Jesus. I can't die before my time. You know, I'm not going to be a baby butterfly. You ain't going to be a baby butterfly. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. You know, before wings, I can only imagine. Just, you know, come on and go with me down this road, if you will. Can you only imagine? I can only imagine what God is about to do. All I can do is just taste it. All I can do is just bask in it. Just look. Because I've been waiting. Have you been waiting? Have you been waiting? Have you been feeling just felt like, you know what? I gave up a long time ago, but something happened and I'm still here. Because God has need for you. He wouldn't allow you to break down, even though you felt like you were having a mental breakdown. You know much that you just can't remember nothing. You can't go through. It was just like, I can't take nothing, 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 nothing else. And then that one thing comes down upon you. Lord have mercy. Because our words have power. Our words have power. God says it's time to walk in your power. Oh, Lord have mercy. He said this time, this time, this is the time. He said, this is the season. He's blessing his people. He's blessing. Oh, God, I hear you. He said, it's unlocked doors. He said, I'm unlocking doors. I'm un oh, God, I hear you. He says, it's been dreams that you all have had for a long time. Now, again, this is not for everybody. But if this you can feel this is for you, boo. This is for you. God says he's unlocking doors. You've dreamt about it. You've dreamt about the day for your vehicle. What does that mean? My victory. My victory day. Everybody got to have one. World War One, World War Two. there's a victory day that comes. Like some, at some point, this has to end. At some point, I have to not just pass the test, but graduate so I can get out of that school altogether. Do you hear what I'm saying? You're graduating. You're graduating. Oh, God, promotion. Promotion comes from the Lord. Your gifts are making they are opening doors. They are opening doors. You allow God to hide you. You you may have been kicking and screaming and yelling out because you didn't know what was going on. But God was making you. God was making you even when the bones were popping. Oh God, because he was breaking you. Oh God, when the ego was breaking. When you got to a place where God had to humble you and peace.
He wanted to see it. Ish, been there, done that. Oh God, for this moment. It took a long time, but it's okay. Cause you know what? I'm better for it. Are you better for it? You're better for it, right? For it. You're better for it. So I thank you. What was the song? That uh, I'm not even gonna get into it because I can't even think. Oh God, but I thank you for the wisdom. I thank you for the lessons. I thank you. I thank you for the mess that I have got myself in that I begin to understand if it had not been for you bringing me out of. I know him. I know him because I was able to allow God to teach me. You're able to know him because you're spending time with him. You're allowing him to teach you. Good God Almighty. You're on here not by choice, but by God ushering your hand. Who oh God, because he was sending the mess message. He was sending the word out. He was speaking it into the atmosphere, whispering in your ears, and you were just scrolling by because of good steps, a good woman's steps are ordered by the Lord. And he's saying, this is not just your new season, a new day. He says, this is your overflow. You're walking. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Running and leaping into your overflow. It's just like fire. Shut up in my bones. I can see the crack. I can see the crack for you. I can see the crack for you. Oh, God, you know how you can just come to that moment and you just break down because there's a sign of relief. Oh, God. There's a sign of relief happening for you. Oh, Lord. And you can only think back all oh, that you had to go through just to still be standing to see all that you lost, but you're better for it. Uh -huh. I'm better for it. You better for it. Yeah, we said we better for it. But all that you had to endure, all the relationships that messed up, all of the ups and downs of life, all the times the chains came off, fell off, and came right back on. Oh, God. Oh, God. We just thank you. We thank you for the overflow season. We welcome it in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for allowing us to still be alive, to see this moment in time. You are not slack concerning your promises. He is faithful. He has been faithful to us. He has been faithful to us. He has kept us for this time and this moment. And here's the thing. Even though you remember the road that you had to travel on, even as that caterpillar, what you had to do, you thought you were going to have release when you got the road from the, the ground and you start climbing up the tree only to find there are bigger predators that you still had to deal with. But God, we thank you for protecting us, even to get us to the place where you wrapped us in your you held us closely. You rocked us even when we were screaming out, kicking against you. You wrapped us up and you kept us. You said if you could just hold on, just hold on. I know you went through so much stuff. I cannot allow you to miss it. I thank God that he loves us so much. He will do what's necessary so we don't miss it. Because he knows we're only acting out because we haven't got what we feel on the inside of us belongs to us. And I'm coming to get it all. No crumbs on the table. I'm sorry. Excuse me. But if it hit the floor, I'm going to pick it up. Why? Because it's mine. Oh, God. Because it belongs to me and not a crumb. I worked hard for that. Come on. Lord, have mercy. You ever just had something that you loved? You know that you worked hard. You couldn't wait to go get it. And as soon as you get it, like, oh, it just broke to pieces in your hand. And it's that crumb that's on the floor that that was the one that you wanted. I dare you to go pick it up. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. God is sending his anointing, chain-breaking anointing this week. There's a chain-breaking anointing. There's unlocked doors that are happening. This is a movement of breakthrough happening this week because of what God is doing doing and God said in this battle you thought you were going to have to put your hands up you came in it on the first day he set it off he was setting it up and setting it off we move forward in our fast on yesterday we begin to do the work and labor for God and he said write the vision make it plot in big block letters so as those, they can read it even as they run. Let me tell you something. So even at the point where I feel like I'm about to give up, I got to remember 
Yep, that vision. Got to stay in front of me. Got to stay in front of me. And God began to let us know, keep it ahead of you because that's where you're going. I'm going to the other side. I'm going to the other side. So today God has already released. He said, you only have to fight, Mr. Moore. I got you. My angels got you. Rest in me. Rest in what's, what's, what? That's what we're doing. We're resting in him today to have the counter that only he can give. He is radiating. He is radiating his power, his love, his peace, his joy, his anointing all through us like he is infusing. I don't know if you feel that where you are. I can only speak for myself. I feel it so strongly. His anointing is just his love, his peace, his joy. Jesus is like he's infusing it. Oh God, he's doing something in my mind. And if you can feel that, he's doing something in your mind too. Oh Lord, because of where he's about to take you, you're going to be at the point where you're going to think it was just a dream. By the time you get to the other side, you're going to, did I really go through all, yeah boo, you went through it, you missed, you dodged the bullets, only because of God, oh God, oh God, oh God, only because of God, and some of us, yeah, we got to be real, we do have uh, uh, situations where we feel the effect, you know, our life changed because of what we went through, yeah, we lost some people along the way, yeah, some things happen where we can't get those things back. Those people can't come back in our life. But God will still make it up to us. He will still make it up to us. He will give us double for our trouble. He will give us joy for our shame. Do you hear me? He will turn things around. He's giving you beauty for your ashes. You just have to hold on and allow him to be God and just rest in him today. Allow him to visit you. And don't forget, when you feel it, you just feel something different. You feel something flowing. You feel something flowing. all on the inside. Just, excuse me. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Did you get that? So we got to learn how to be able to know when we're feeling something that we cannot explain. Uh, excuse me, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, no, uh, no, I gotta go. Call her ID today. Do you hear me? Because she don't want to miss what God is doing. He may come in and interrupt you in a time that you think, hey, you showing up now. I'm at, I'm at work. Like, I gotta go to the bathroom. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm telling you, don't miss what God is doing. Your life is being up and it's not just about you it's about your family it's about i got to see my family come up i got to see things break off my bloodlines do do you hear me it's not just one bloodline we have a mother and a father right so it's both bloodlines some things that we're going through we don't even understand why the heck we're going through it but at the same time we don't know some of us don't know our fathers or we don't know our mothers we don't know what they did with what they had addiction for that was passed down in our dna that we just find ourselves wrestling with it but god is breaking that today he is breaking that and please not now another one go through what we had to go through in our bloodline so i will stay I will be the kind. I will do what God wants me to do so that not now another person has to go through this thing right here because God is taking us to the other side. So when I start eating good, yep, you got to eat good too. Oh, Jesus. Lord have mercy. I got to go. <laughs> Thank God. Father, we, who, Lord, I just feel like I want to pass out. For real, excuse me. I got to go. <laughs> I thank God for the word that He has released. I thank you for the word that you have released to your people today. I thank you for empowering us and infusing us with your wisdom, with your power, and setting up anointing. I thank you for using me, for Lord, for your glory, Lord, for your vessel. Lord, I thank you, God, for the people who have tuned in and out of this broadcast. The ones that are watching now, have watched before, or will be watching later. Father, I thank you that the words are not falling on deaf ears. Those that We'll get it. Father, we thank you. We're going to see those who got it because they're going to be transformed and then going to the other side. I thank you for taking us to the side of this thing right here. I thank you for renewing our minds. I thank you for renewing our strengths. I thank you for helping us to stand strong and bold in you. Father, thank you. Set our face like a flint. Let us not wear our emotions on our sleeves, Father. Help us to have feet like hinds feet. So even when the problems come to seem as if we're going to fall over the cliff, give us the ability to stand like hind, with hinds feet, oh God. Father, help us to be bold as a lion, harmless as a dove humble as a lamb help us to speak what we need to speak as we need to speak it in the timing that we need to speak allow us to be quiet when we don't need to say anything so we don't mess up what it is you are doing father we thank you for blessing us and visiting us today
day. Father, allow the peace of God that surpasses all understanding and the joy of the Lord overflowing like a river. Visit your people today who have tuned in or will tune in today. Father, please, I thank you for blessing them abundantly above all acts for a hope of think according to the power that works in them. Father, exceed. We thank you for exceeding our expectation. I thank you. I thank you for the visitation today that you're giving your people the encounters. Thank you for the signs. Thank you for the crack to be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you for the crack to be able to see we're about to break through this thing. Thank you for the spaces that were once crowded about to be enlarged. Thank you for enlarging our territories and everywhere our feet are treading. You already said so we decree declare it's ours. You are giving us that land. Father, thank you for choosing us to suffer for your cause and your glory because we know after this, Lord, the blessings of the Lord are on Thank you, Lord, for showing off and showing out in your people people to show that you are Lord of Lord and King of Kings. Besides you, there is no other God in every knee must bow. Every tongue must confess that you alone are God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.